Hi everyone, this is Megan with the blog listenhomestead.com and today we are going to be saying goodbye to our first home together. We moved into this house three years ago. Me and my husband bought this house. It was our first house ever together. We were very early pregnant with our first baby and so it has come time to leave this house and it is very bittersweet and it's time to say goodbye and so I thought I would share a few random thoughts I've been having on here and just kind of give a little bit of a goodbye video to this house that has been so wonderful and it has so many memories in it and we will definitely miss it a lot. I am someone who really hates change. Even if it's good change, it just has such a bittersweet feel about it. Even things ex as exciting as babies learning to walk or just every milestone, happy or not, any change feels a little bit sad. Bittersweet, as I said, that's kind of the perfect word for it. It's good and bad. I really like things to stay the same, to stay very steady. But of course, nothing in life stays the same. You always have to move on from every phase in life, everything changes. It has been quite a roller coaster of emotions as I think about leaving our first home together. And yes, I want so badly to move out of town onto some acreage and our dreams are coming true and everything's been working out so perfectly with that and I couldn't be more grateful and excited for our new adventure. But this is the house our children were born in and there are so many memories. We've changed every single thing in this house. We've put blood, sweat, and tears into this house, so it's hard to say goodbye. As I said, when we first moved into this little farmhouse three years ago, we were very, very early pregnant with our first. And then now three years later, as we are moving out, we are home over halfway through the pregnancy with our third child. So as you can tell, a lot has happened in this house. A lot have, of memories have been made. So much has happened in those last three years. Can you believe I was only 19 when we first bought this house? I learned how to be a wife here. I learned how to be a mother. Our two wonderful children were born in this house even. I can still point out the spots on the floor where each of them came earthside, where they entered this world from inside my womb. Sophia was born right in the living room, in front of the couch, right into the arms of our wonderful midwife, and then straight into her mother's arms. Demetrius was born in the kitchen near the entrance between the kitchen and the living room. And he was born with just me and Luke here, straight into his mama's arms, and it was the most peaceful and quiet birth I could imagine. We became parents in this house. We didn't have to leave this house a single time to become parents. We didn't have to go to the hospital. We didn't have to go see a doctor. We had everything we needed right in this house to become parents, to start raising our children. Our babies took their first breaths in this house. The first time they slept through the night, their first words, their first steps, all of their firsts so far in their whole lives have happened in this house. And I, being a very emotional and sentimental person, am having a very hard time letting go of that. It feels insecure in a way, leaving the house my children were born in, and also knowing that this baby currently growing inside my womb will not be born in the same place as its siblings were. My first two children being born in the same place always felt so special, and so this one being born in a different house entirely feels very, very strange and foreign to me. Even though I know we will fill our next home with just as good of memories, It'll be full of loving, wonderful memories. I don't like leaving this one behind. It took us a full, exhausting three years to renovate this old farmhouse, this old treasure of a home. We did a complete bathroom renovation, full living room remodel, and a kitchen renovation top to bottom. We also remodeled all three bedrooms, replaced all the plumbing and electrical, repaired the exterior, painted everything several times. Plus we refinished the original hardwood floors that were left, put in shiplap walls, planked ceiling, put in open wooden shelving, and added built-ins in the upstairs. And that is just a very brief general overview. I can honestly say that there is not a single spot in this house that was not touched with a hammer, a sander, or a paintbrush. As I walk around through this house now, looking at everything we've changed, 
I can't see a single thing that we haven't changed or touched or fixed. You can't see a single spot left from how it was when we bought it three years ago. We knew the time would come to sell this house and move on to our next big adventure, to sell this home we had created for ourselves. When we originally bought this home three years ago, it was the only home we could afford that was on the market, which is why it needed so much work. And the plan was to fix it up and sell it. So I've known this time would come. I've known this would come since the moment we bought it because this is kind of a stepping stone to our more forever home, to our big homestead where we want to raise our children. With almost three kids now, we are really craving more space, more land to raise animals on, another farmhouse to fix up, but this time to stay in more permanently, Lord willing. We would love a place with more privacy that is safer for the kids to go outside and play by themselves, just more quiet and simplicity. So now I'm saying goodbye to our first home. It is bittersweet, but we have exciting times ahead of us as a growing family. It is time to embark on a new adventure. Goodbye, little home.